spending 90% of our times indoor, we believe it's important that these places are healthy, make you productive, but at the same time offer a high energy efficiency. Today I would like to talk to you exactly about these things. What do we mean by having a healthy place? What do we need in order to create the highest energy efficiency? And last but not least, also something new, how do we actually personalize this for you, for your employees and for you as an office manager? First, let me talk about healthy and productive places. There are a couple of parameters which are important. First of all is humidity. People tend to get sicker more in winter, and there's actually a reason to it. Depending on the humidity level within your rooms, but also outside, germs like viruses and bacteria, they tend to survive longer and can stay longer in your rooms, therefore having a direct impact on the health of you and the people around you. Second, CO2. CO2, everybody knows the situation. You're in a meeting room, 15 people, 10, 20 people. After 20 minutes, everybody starts to yawn. When you get fresh in from the outside, you really feel it's a muddy air, doesn't feel good. People lose focus due to it and so on. So actually knowing the CO2 level, you can intelligently adjust with the system from Siemens how much air, fresh air gets actually into the room. Third, volatile organic compounds. They're everywhere. They are used in paints, in coatings, and so on. Now, having them at a low level is actually not that, a pro not that much of a problem. However, if they build up and you don't manage this, this can actually have a direct health impact on you and your, uh, the people around you. So, exchanging the air, changing it to the right setting, that's important. Third, fine dust particles. Fine dust particles are stuff that you breathe in, and they are so small that you cannot physically breathe them out again. And they are associated with various illnesses like cancer, Alzheimer's and so other things. So, for example, knowing then how much fine dust you have in your building, you can start actively filtering it. You can increase or decrease the air that is coming out from the outside or reuse it and so on. So having all these four things, knowing the humidity level, knowing the CO2 level, knowing the amount of volatile organic compounds and the fine dust level, actively helps you to intelligently steer the system and creating a healthy and productive place for you. Secondly, I'd like to talk about the energy efficiency of this whole system. There are a couple of things which are important to know to actively manage the energy efficiency and therefore decreasing your costs, but also, of course, your CO2 footprint. One, knowing if somebody is in the room or not can actively have a contributor by managing the light. The temperature setting, of course, has a direct impact how much you use your heating or your cooling plant. Shading and lighting then is the, is the managing it of it. Now imagine the following situation. It's cold outside, around zero degrees, the sun is shining, and you and your friends get into the building on a normal working day. There's nobody in the meeting room, so actually having the shades up, already letting the sun in and increasing the temperature is a good thing. Now my friend Lucy and I, we have a meeting, we go there, and all of a sudden, the whole situation changes, right? We are now in, so the light has to go up, but it has to adjust to the right, temp uh, right uh, level because the sun is already sh uh, shining. We can adjust the airflow and also the temperature. Now we need to do a presentation. We put down the shades, everything changes, all the parameters change, but the Siemens system actually then has a strategy to uh, adjust all the variables uh, of your room to that. But that's just the start. Now, Comfort levels are independent, right? So while Lucy might be perfectly comfortable, I'm typically cold. So actually, here I'm proud about talking to you about also the Seagull Room Automation with Comfy. I can personally, on my mobile phone now, say at my workplace, I'm not comfy enough, I want to have it warmer. Other people do the same, and having this community now, actually knowing that in this room, at this point of time, you want to have it colder or warmer, you can actively start managing your set points within the building. And we have tons of other applications with this workplace ap application as well, but there's actually more because the system, having all this data, can also tell you, listen, between Monday to Friday, normal working days, normal working hours, these rooms are actually used this way. And therefore, you can actively change, for example, offices to meeting rooms or vice versa, and therefore increase the space utilization of your office. Now, to summarize everything up, right, we talked about what does it take to have a healthy and productive room? Second, what does it need to, to actually have this energy efficiency within the room? And third, how can we all personalize this into one perfect system around, centered around you as uh, the people in the room? So if you'd like to know more, 
please get in contact with us. Click the link below. Thank you very much. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.